Over the past few days, Marvin Harrison Jr. has been talking with the media and everything that is coming out, he just does not seem pleased with his role or at least how his rookie season is going. We're gonna go ahead and break that down because it is kind of interesting and I think things need to change, obviously. He also has to improve as well. Like he is a part of the problem and I will make that known, but we're gonna go ahead and dive into this because it does not look good. Marvin Harrison was asked how his rookie season is going for him and he said it is not what he envisioned. I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip right here. This is from Tyler Drake. It's not off to a great start. So let's go ahead and roll that. Uh, definitely not you know, what I envisioned, but I'm glad we're three or four. I think we're not in a terrible spot at the moment. Uh, I think we still have a chance. I was doing the division, kind of have the elements going on. Um, so I'm just keep keep going, keep getting better each week, and hey, fuck. What the That's not great. And then he was also asked another question, which makes it very interesting, because he was also asked, as far as what Marvin Harrison envisioned for himself, is this what he expected? And he literally just hit the I don't know. Listen to this. Um, I don't know. Just. I don't, I don't know. That's not a good look. There is clear distaste in his mouth about how this season is going. He does not appear happy. And obviously, Marvin Harrison Jr. is a guy who has high standards for himself. He wants to be the best possible. He's not going to come here on blast and say, yeah, you know what? I didn't think coming into here, we were just going to be a run first team and I wasn't going to get targets like that. And there were going to be some games where I kind of disappear fade out and only have like 200 and something yards through the first seven games. Marvin is used to thriving, getting the ball 24 seven, putting up 1400 yards, 10 plus touchdowns. This is what he did in college. Like this is what he thought would translate. And obviously there is safeties being shaded high and he is literally getting teams number one corner. So things are gonna be a little more difficult because the NFL to college talent is different. The NFL, believe it or not, is a lot more talented. It is a lot more competitive and people will downplay that and be like college football is more entertaining, yada, yada, yada. But the NFL talent is NFL talent for a reason. Marvin's not gonna have it easy and he's also seventh in drops this season. So things have to pick up for him there because it is some of his fault too. When the targets come your way, you need to make plays. There were games like the Detroit one where I'm not gonna fault him for a ton of his drops. Like there's some that he should come down with, but <laughs> Kyler Murray was just chucking it up. Kind of hard to come down with those. But at the end of the day, there are some of these plays that Marvin Harrison has had legit one-on-one -on -one opportunities or passes that he should catch. You gotta come down with these plays and you have to stay engaged. Like I said, last game, there were plays where he clearly was not in it, especially towards the end of the game. He had that one play where he got helmeted to helmeted and he dropped the football before. And luckily he did hit him in the head because because otherwise that would have put us in a third and 10 situation we probably would not have won that game. Let's just call it how it is. So thankfully we got the penalty there, extended the drive, and it should have been a catch ball by Marvin Harrison Jr. And Marvin Harrison Jr. reiterating what I said earlier is basically that teams are playing cover two on him, right? Like they're not gonna let Marvin Harrison just dominate the game. He was familiar with Jim Harbaugh, the cover two that he ran in college. And this is what he had to say that teams are basically scheming against him. And like, I guess, which is kind of a key word here because you can just tell Marvin wants more touches and he wants quick intermediate passes, wants to get involved early on and stay engaged, but you have to be engaged regardless. But this is what he had to say about all that. I'll roll the clip and we'll talk about it after. Funny, I didn't think about it until um, I think the first play we had a pass play call. And uh, kind of wanted to just get an easy catch that you know, anybody on the field really kind of was a quick game. And uh, I got covered two to my side. And I remember Coach Harbaugh, he used to cover two me for the past two years, uh, the, the cloud going against him. I just didn't really think about it that much. Um, but I think it's the nature of the game. Um, the kind of respect that I guess the defense coordinators have had for me so far this year uh, with you know, different coverages and cloud on my side, but uh, that's all part of the game. The I guess is huge here because like, obviously he's like, you know, I can make impact plays. I just need to be given the opportunity. And I think he has been given the opportunity in spurts, but I think we need to involve him early on. Like you have to get him the ball Early in the game, short intermediate, he's running a lot of vertical down the field. I think things need to be quick, especially since we're so run first. I think Marvin can get down the field. There have been plays where Kyler Murray has been under pressure and can't get the ball to Marvin. That is true. But at the same time, there's no excuse for this offense not to pick this up. Like Kyler Murray and Marvin Harrison Jr. are two crazy talents individually. They need to come together and they need to figure this thing out because we're going into week eight. And thankfully, Marvin Harrison Jr. also said this. Thankfully, we have a three and four record and he's not playing the best football 
football. But we got to figure this thing out. Whether it's a Kyler thing, because there are plays where Kyler Murray in spurts has missed Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm not talking about those big time plays where Marvin Harrison Jr. is wide open and Kyler's under pressure. I'm talking about there are plays where Marvin Harrison Jr. has a quick window and Kyler has to hit him there. Drew Petzing also not calling fantastic games for Marv. I think short intermediate things need to be figured out. I think the Arizona Cardinals offense is close to being where it needs to be, but we're not there yet. And that's fine because Kyler Murray is playing in a brand new system for the first time last year. And he's figuring that out after playing a lifetime under center. Or I mean, a lifetime in shotgun. This is his first year basically playing a full entire year under center. So he's figuring out footwork. He's figuring out timing. And I know it's hard because he's a year six quarterback and you expect him to just have it down pat, but it's hard. He's figuring out timing, figuring out footwork, still doing all that. And I think he's doing a pretty good job at it, but he has to play better within structure. And Marvin Harrison Jr. has to be ready when the ball comes this way. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. Miami's a legit test for us. Their defense has been pretty decent. So Arizona is going to have a tall task here. And we're going to see if Marvin Harrison Jr. gets involved or if we're going to keep these discussions going. I'm hoping it ends. I hope Marv stays engaged. I hope Drew Petson calls a better game. And I hope Kyler Murray finds him when the windows are there. I don't think we're too far off from where we need to be, but we have to keep building and we have to keep taking that step. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. So hopefully they figure it out. But with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video, man. If you guys did enjoy, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post Arizona Cardinals and NFL related content. So if you're a fan of either of those, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, let me know down in the comment section below whether you think they're going to figure it out or not and predict Marvin Harrison Jr.'s stat line for his game against Miami. But like I said, that is all I got for today's video, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy, Mythic. Peace out. That hurt.